My name is Logan Cavalier, and I'm the creative lead and producer at Glass Robot. Uh, my name is Matus Pika. I am the sophomore junior, the artist, and the animator currently at Glass Robot. Glass Robot is an independent game development studio founded by a group of friends with the intention of making impactful experiences while working well together like a finely tuned machine. <laughs> that is the most corporate shit I've ever heard. What? We're Glass <laughs> Robot! That doesn't mean we don't have soul! We Would do! We work well together like a finely tuned machine. You're like cogs in a wheel. Then make it seem human! What do you want me to say? It's we work well together like... Change of your voice! I am. You... Do I sound like a robot? Yes, he does. You sound like a glass robot? <laughs> Logan, you want to seem human? Today is a bad day for this. Yeah, sorry. <clears throat> I got the giggles because I haven't done this in a minute. Scream. Ah! Uh... That's actually a happy <coughs> joke. Three. So what is Glass Robot? <laughs> <laughs> what? What the fuck was that funny? He laughed, he laughed. <laughs> <Whee>! <laughs> yeah, you get the smiles out too. When you say it, when you say your question and smile at me. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Maybe that might actually be better. Well, our, our mission statement is literally to create impactful experiences. But I want to say finely tuned machine. Like we work well together like a finely tuned machine. Yes. That's been our thing for say four years. For the website, talk from the heart. What is Glass Robot to you? He didn't say oh, that. He didn't say that. I don't give a shit what he said. I'm talking about you. Say He's God. the interviewer. So what is Glass Robot to you? <laughs> it's a headache. Speak from the heart. What Stop thinking it's taglines and corporate shit. Just, what is it to you? So what is Glass Robot? What is Glass Robot to me? Mm. I need some appeal though there. Like, we need a little bit more than just we're a group of friends who made a game we're development a studio. We share the same passion for video games. As every game development studio though. Every indie game studio is like a group of friends or like a one friend. No one set us apart. Huh? What exactly set us apart? I thought it was the fact that we work well together like a friendly machine, machine, but whatever. Uh, so Glass Robot is an independent game development studio founded by a group of friends. And the special thing about us is that we all take our various life experiences and put that towards our uh, creations, our actual game experiences. Glass Robot to me is a group of friends who came together to make games, not because of the monetary value we can get from it, but because of the creative passion that we can channel towards our work. So the name Glass Robot came from, uh, actually our graphic designer, Sam Pastori, came up with the idea of a finely tuned machine working well in a, an open, transparent sort of fashion. The way that we're all friends ha that have known each other for a long time and uh, how we get together. And even if we all have individual goals and re uh, responsibilities, we're still able to work effectively. It was a collaborative effort. It was when we were trying to brainstorm after a couple months there are lots of names thrown out there, not many that got chosen, obviously. None of mine. <laughs> yeah, <buddy. laughs> so, one major game that got me into video game development is Fire Emblem Path of Radiance for GameCube. So it is a very interesting idea of a title, especially because it's just another Fire Emblem game brought overseas on consoles. But what was really particularly fun about this one is that playing it as a kid, it was one of the first uh, strategy role-playing games that I really was able to just break open, e learning more about like the characters through the support mechanics, as well as uh, being able to nickname your own weapons was just such a big important part to me. Um, because being able to actually put your own flair into the game made me want to learn more about how to do that myself for others, how to uh, get into that interactive medium as the creator instead of the person, you know, really putting my mark in that. The game that ultimately pushed me towards game design was, and this might be a bit of a cliche, uh, Kingdom Hearts. I love the first game. As I said earlier with the name of a glass robot, it combines two different opposite um, ideas and creates something completely new and unique from it. Something that's like timeless and even with the jank, it's still something that's incredibly fun to play. And it also hits one of my most core values and that is for criticism and betterment. Because as the series went on, it's something that became a bit of a touchy subject of, yes, it got better mechanically, but on the more uh, creative side, it started to stagnate. And over time, I began to want to have the feeling of, oh, I want to be able to fix this. I want to be able to make something better and critique and, until I get that perfect result. 
and I eventually want to come to making games because I want to hone my craft and our products to become the best they can be. So what makes Glass Robot particularly different from other game development studios is, ooh, that is a tricky question. Because there's not a lot. What makes us genuinely different? Like, because you can't just say your background. Everybody can say their background. And even if I elaborate and go, oh yeah, so where we come from individually, while we all know each other from high school, there's a lot of different things that brings us together. For example, I'm friends with Matus in one dynamic, but then I'm friends with Brandon in another. So that kind of dynamic clashing literally brings the experience to be a more different flavor. I can't say something like that. Oh. Vid, you're on speaker really quick. Uh, what makes Glass Robot special? Logan Cavalieri. <laughs> hey. What makes Glass Robot special? Logan Cavalieri. All right, thanks, honey. I love you too. Bye. Wait, what? Because I don't want to just say it's it's the ideas we have. It's the emotion, the imagination we got, the passion. Everybody can say that. I feel more passionate about video games than you do. You know why? I played Cooking Mama. I played Babysitting Mama. I played every mama. What makes us different is that we're not afraid to branch out and try new things. Yes, that's a cliched answer, but so far we made a endless runner game, an RPG, and a puzzle game for the phone. And our next project is in an entirely different genre again. We're willing to try and experiment in order to see where we land and keep holding ourselves no matter what kind of situation we're in. Even if it's just the smallest team that you can find around at the moment. So what makes Glass Robot particularly different from other independent game development studios is the way that we use gamification in our lives. We use it across our professional and personal connections. So whether we're working our full-time job, seeing each other, talking to family, anything of the sort, we apply everything that we learn from these interactive experiences, both that we play and develop in that. So for example, um, when I'm playing Animal Crossing on like just any system, I take the use of uh, the mechanics and how like it shows your character leading an organized and well-structured life, uh, pr constantly reminding you about your responsibilities and your just general uh, roles in the community, whether it's like, you know, any of the earlier games or the most recent ones. And I use that um, in scheduling glass robot meetings, for example, or just generally balancing my personal life, which I'm kind of bad at because I have ADHD and a really bad track record on my calendar. I haven't, I literally texted you every other day. Then what do they tell you? I'm working on it. I'll get you it the next day. I said it I'm never came. On it. I said I was working on it. And you said you'll have it to me multiple deadlines. I'll have it to you by Monday. Monday came and went. <laughs> I have it to you by Wednesday. Wednesday came and went. I have it to you by the end of next week. The week came and by. And I never saw everything. Originally, it was going to be solely in art. Because I'm an artist by nature. I've always been into like drawing everything since I was a kid. But I had a bit of a crisis when I was graduating high school. And I was just like... How am I going to actually accomplish this? There's artists for a dozen, dime a dozen out there. And eventually it hit me that I could just do it on my own and I should pick up a more technical skill. And that's how I ended up becoming a programmer as well when I graduated high school, geared towards making video games. I decided that, oh, I can hold not only my artistic side, but also my um, more technical side in order to be able to make these games from scratch on my own with a team and still bring a whole plethora of skills with me wherever I go. My background in game development's a little bit of a rocky one. Uh, so I started learning about game development and knowing that I wanted to go into this field. Honestly, back when I was around 13 or 14 years old, uh, after just having had all those early experiences with games and knowing what I wanted to do in development and creation of them, uh, I started looking up literally everything about the interactive medium, how to go about creating all kinds of different aspects of it, mechanics, designs, animation and music and everything. And uh, that was way back in middle school. Transitioning, I ended up having uh, a bit of a crazy family life, moving around constantly. I lived in maybe seven to 10 different towns all throughout Florida. Um, I've lived in a few different towns in Georgia and I ultimately uh, moved up here to New York when I was uh, 14 or 15 years old. And from there I continued learning about game development, but transitioning over to living in New York was a little tougher than I thought it would be, especially when I came from Georgia and Florida. 
Now with game development, while I consistently kept learning about more uh, aspects of it, I met friends who eventually would come to Found Glass Robot with me. And uh, I actually ended up going through a bout of homelessness, which put a bit of a damper on uh, learning how to develop video games as well as actually working on my projects with everybody. It was uh, very difficult to manage meetings when I didn't actually have a, uh, a consistent roof over my head. There was a local shelter in our county that I ended up having to stay at for a while. And uh, it turned into me staying at their transitional uh, living program. It was an independent transitional living program. That's the way they referred to it because they teach you independent living skills, how to literally work on your life as, as an adult. And uh, I stayed there until I was uh, around 20 or 21 years old. And uh, between then and now, I'm 25, I uh, learned how to actually make games and uh, worked with my friends in doing so uh, now. So I'm Logan Cavalieri. This has been an interview with Glass Robot. I don't know what the title of the actual video or interview is, but whatever our great producer wants to call it is what he wants to call it. Uh, please make sure to tune in to our uh, local social accounts. Uh, we've got everything you can imagine, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, all that stuff. And you'll likely find us at, uh, just by Googling or searching up on those sites, Glass Robot or Glass Robot Games. And you can also find us at glassrobotgames.com because we have a website. Uh, stay tuned for more games from Glass Robot.